Remember how baristas said I should be fired for making a cleaning series? Remember how like baristas were constantly checking in if I was doing all the cleaning procedures if I did a single like secret mini drink? Yet I would go on their page and they're doing videos of them blending ham and cheese croissants. It's videos like this that remind me why I do what I do. Not gonna lie, I was expecting like a black piece and then that would have been sludge in your ice. But no, it's someone who just doesn't check the dates on milks. Oh yeah, and to prove that Starbucks watches all our videos, they commented on our video telling her to reach out to customer service. So she's gonna be handled and taken care of. But just a reminder, lay off me. Stop talking down to baristas on TikTok and maybe double check your own store. And to all you people being like, well, how would you even get past a uh, health inspection without cleaning? Yeah, that's how. You can do it. Always double check your own standards. Want to know how Starbucks opens? Step one, show up. Get the oven on. Turn on our espresso machine. Teas. Now while those are steeping for five minutes, we're going to put our pumps away that have been sitting out all night after sanitizing. We still have our chai pump, but no bins, which means we gotta make some chai. And that's why people say our chai is fake. Because it's in a box. Now that our espresso machine's turned on, we gotta clean it. You take these little pills and you put it in here. I have a full video on cleaning the espresso machine. And then you start the cleaning. I forgot to film me starting the iced coffees. There's a video on that too. Now we get the pastry case looking this. Fill the ice bin, your cleaning station. Keep an eye on when you have to make your cold brew. Make your backup. Then you just restock cups and lids, put on an apron. How's it going? I'm a Starbucks barista, and a lot of you guys ask me how I clean certain parts of the store. I've shown you the ice machine, I've shown you the nitro cold brew station, but now we're gonna show you the drain. Now there is a daily and weekly task, but what you're about to see is my monthly non-required clean. As long as you spray it with drain cleaner, three times a day, it should be very, very clean. And then weekly spray it with the drain cleaner and scrub it. But sadly, coffee is still gonna stain a bright white drain. And I guess if it's disinfected, I technically don't have to do this, but I just like things looking brand new. So what we're doing right now is we're taking Urnex, the things that we actually clean our coffee urn. We let it sit in steaming hot water for about 15 minutes. And then we are gonna take our drain grate and our drain cover and we're gonna let it sit in pots and pans in hot water for about 15 minutes as well. After the 15 minutes, we are going to take out the cup that was clogging the drain, put it aside. We might need to use that drain cleaner later and then scrub this guy down. This is what it looks like before and this is after. Like I said, making it look that new is a little excessive, but another day, another Starbucks cleaning task and we are gonna do the coffee station. Now going from a normal Starbucks to a Target Starbucks, this area was kind of a shocker to me because it doesn't look the same as a regular Starbucks. But all this is the same as if you were to clean it as a Starbucks, so let's get started. We start by removing all the stuff, that way when we're scrubbing down the counter, it's a lot easier, we're not trying to dodge things. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies and get underneath the brewer. As you go, you can start putting things back. This plastic sheet I first started by spraying down with Windex and then put through the sanitizer. Yes, I cleaned it on the counter after putting it on the ground. Once we're done, it's time to do the air pot. Put a filter pouch in the top and fill it all the way with steaming hot water as if you were brewing a normal coffee. And then once it's done, you pour it out, scrub the outside, and then also make sure that you wipe it down and make it look as good as new. Scrub the inside as well, make sure there's no brown at all. This is actually a super easy task. And once it's done, you feel like a boss. Look at that. Alrighty, let me show you guys how I clean the espresso machine at Starbucks. Despite this being the older model of espresso machine, this has never been called in for repairs. And it's cause we go over this top. First step is, is we remove all the beans from the hopper and we separate them. Then we take the hopper and throw it in the dishwasher. While that's soaking, we're gonna vacuum out everything inside of it and then sanitize it all and make it nice and shiny. What is that gunk in that corner? There we go. After the hopper is super dry, like I mean super dry, you're gonna refill in the coffee. And after the coffee beans are filled, you're gonna do some test shots to make sure it's shooting between 18 and 22 seconds. It never does after this, so you just gotta adjust it. Now we're gonna take apart every single part of the espresso machine and we are going to throw it through the wash. And while we do, we're gonna clean out the inside and take out this little doohickey key. This is where we put the cleaning tablets. We're gonna scrub down each part, pop the key back in with the cleaning tablets and then set it on its rinse. And we're good to go. Many more, but that's how you clean the espresso machine. The over the top way. The reason why I never get ice in my drinks at any fast food restaurant is that I know without a doubt, some baristas or bartenders have never seen the bottom of their ice machine. 
have never hit it up with hot water and food safe chemicals and then went ahead and scrubbed that mother down. You're supposed to do this monthly. Some people haven't done it in years of them working there. That's why if I ever want ice in my drink, I will only go to my store.